my name is Brad Wood, and I'm a business consultant here at XBM, a Valientis company. At XBM, we offer a variety of services, and one of those is keeping you informed on updates in the Atlassian ecosystem. Today, we're going to talk about an update to JIRA service management called canned responses. We'll look at how to create a canned response, how to use them, and some recommended best practices for canned responses. So let's jump into the tool and see how these work. So the idea behind canned responses is that they're really for your service management team to use when answering common questions or addressing problems that uh, happen frequently uh, within, their, within their team. They can help increase uh, efficiency and consistency within uh, communication uh, between the service team and customers and uh, can also provide uh, relevant information and can sometimes even help customers solve their own problems. So let's take a look at how some of these might work. Uh, so here I'm in a demo JSM uh, project and there's three issues created in here. Let's jump into this first one. My laptop is broken. And we can see in this case, uh, Steve, the customer dropped his laptop and the screen is cracked. So if we go down here and hit reply to customer, we see we have an option that says canned responses. And if we click into canned responses, we can see that I've already created a few of these. And we also have the option to create a new canned response. So if we click create new, we see that there's two options here, personal and shared. Personal canned responses are only usable by the agent who created them. So in, uh, maybe you don't want other people to use your canned response for some reason, and you would create it as just a personal. Uh, project administrators have the ability to create what's called a shared canned response. And if we hover over this informational icon, we can see that all agents in this service project would be able to use the canned response were it created as a shared response. Below those, we have the name field, and we could enter any name you want. And below there is the field to create the actual response. So you have a lot of different options uh, within this field. Uh, you can add headings. You can add some formatting to your text, like bold, italics, some more options here, underline, strike through, etc. You can add a bullet list. You could add a numbered list. You can create a link. You can add images, videos, or files. You could add a code snippet, or you could quote something. The last field here that says insert variable, these are really JIRA smart values that you can add to your canned response to add a little bit of personalization or customization to your response. So for instance, you can use the smart value current user, issue assignee, issue key, issue reporter, and the list goes on. And these uh, are JIRA smart values. So for instance, if you use issue key, it will pull the issue key uh, from that current issue that you're looking at. So that's how to create a canned response. Let's use one of these canned responses that has already been created to reply to Steve in this uh, ticket. So Steve dropped his laptop and the screen is cracked. Uh, that happens a lot at our organization for some reason. So we've created this canned response and we can see I called it broken laptop canned response. Here's the actual response and we can see I've used two variables here, issue reporter and issue key. I've also used a bulleted list here to uh, give Steve some things to work on on his current laptop before he turns it back in and uh, gets it swapped out with a new one. So we like what we see here. We'll click insert response. And we can see the response is now in the reply to customer field. And we can see that those smart values have pulled Steve's name because he is the reporter. And then the ticket name here, BTSMP-1 has also been pulled. So then all we have to do is add the reply. And now Steve will get a notification that his uh, ticket has been commented on and uh, he will have all the information he needs about this issue. So let's look at another example. 
In this case, Steve again has forgotten his password for his email and he's locked out of his account. So let's reply to him with another canned response. In this case, I've used another smart value issue reporter again, and then I've added a link to a knowledge base article with some instructions for Steve on how to reset his email password himself. So we'll insert our response, click save. And now if Steve were to come in here and click this link, he will find this knowledge base article with uh, bullet points and steps on how to reset his email himself. So that can save your agents some time. If uh, this is a recurring issue that people have in your organization, you can link them to a knowledge base article in which they can potentially solve their own issue. Let's take a look at one more example. In this case, Steve is requesting a new iPhone because his current iPhone is not compatible with the latest versions of the apps that he uses. And we can see here that he used the request type request new hardware when he submitted this ticket. However, we have a custom request type for mobile devices. And this is, again, a common issue at our organization. People are using the wrong request type when they're putting in their request for a new mobile phone. So here's the canned response I've crafted. Once again, issue reporter uh, is a smart value in here. We've used this portal URL, and then I've also added a hyperlink to the actual request form we would like him to use. So we'll insert the response, save. And now if Steve were to visit this canned response, he has two links he can choose from. The first of which links him directly to our portal and he can navigate here and find his new mobile device <clears throat> request form and resubmit his ticket. Likewise, I linked him directly to this form as well in the canned response and uh, mostly just to show that you can link somebody to your portal or to a specific page on your portal in your canned response if you'd like to. Um, and then a couple quick things to note on best practices with your canned responses. Uh, number one, personalization goes a long way. So um, using smart values to address your uh, reporters by name so they know, hey, this is this is, uh, you know, somebody actually talking to me and not just um, something really generic. Um, I think it can go a long way in um, making your customers feel like you are uh, interested in solving their issues and um, you know treating them the way you would like to be treated. Um, the other best practice is to keep your language clear, concise, and uh, not too technical. So uh, for instance, this is pretty basic language here. Hi, Steve, it sounds like you're having an issue with your mobile device. Could you please revisit the portal? Here's the link and resubmit your request using this request form. Pretty straightforward. And if we look at some of these other uh, examples, you know, please review the following instructions on how to reset your email password. If after reviewing the article, you need further assistance, please let us know. And then of course, thank you with the exclamation point, just to be a little polite and add a little bit of personalization to your canned response. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you got some good information on canned responses in JIRA service management. If you'd like to know more about canned responses or anything else Atlassian related, please feel free to reach out to me via email or LinkedIn, both of which will be included in the description box below. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.